welcome to your Hot Pilates full length workout. Um, for today, you would need a set of dumbbells if you've got it and a resistance loop band. Um, in terms of music, if you have your own playlist that you want to play, go ahead and put that on. Um, otherwise, if you're looking for a recommendation, you can head to Spotify. My username is rachel.hall918. And then playlist is going to be Sculpt31. So again, Sculpt31 for this class. And then we're going to get started. So um, you're going to have your dumbbells splitting the middle of your mat just off to the side, taking your loop band and stepping into it band is going just above the knees onto the thighs. Starting on your back, Pilates stance, feet are flat on the floor, hip width distance, slightly forward of the knees, arms are down by your sides. You're in a neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Take an inhale, big belly breath. Exhale as you empty out, tilt the pelvis, slowly curl the hips up to find your bridge. Making a straight line at the top, knees, hips, shoulders, inhale breath. Exhale, slowly control on the way down. Rolling one vertebra at a time. Inhale as you hit the bottom. Exhale, curl, tilt, lift. Inhale at the top. Exhale, rolling down. You're moving with your own breath on your own time. You've got about 20 more seconds. I want you to think about keeping the knees pressed apart. So the band is going to want to pull the knees in. So you're already from the beginning fighting the resistance of the band. And taking your time rolling through the spine Really working the articulation, mobilization here for three. Matching movement to breath for two. Last one, lowering the hips. Bring your heels together, toes out. You're coming into a Pilates V shape of the legs. Pressing the knees open, external rotation. Exhale as you press your hips up. Flat back bridge, find a straight line at the top. Squeeze the legs together, inner thighs. Keep the squeeze as you lower down. Open the knees at the bottom, press the hips up. Close the knees at the top, lower the hips. Open, lift, close, lower. So I really want you to focus on that external rotation happening from the hips, driving the knees apart, fighting the resistance of the band, and then squeezing through the inner thighs, and a little bit of hamstring activation as well as you hold the squeeze as tight as you can on the lower. You've got 15 more seconds. Allow the sternum to drop. So you want to make sure in your bridge that you're not puffing out the chest. So I want you to drop the sternum and feel the upper back shoulder blades pressing into the ground that whole time. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Keep the knees open, little pulses at the top. You're pressing down through all four corners of both feet, inner and outer edges. The arches will lift. Palms can press down, or for more of a challenge, both arms reach up towards the ceiling. Tiny little pulses out and in, still fighting the resistance of the band, just for 10. Nine, maybe lift the hips a little bit higher, hip to rib connection, navel pulled in towards the spine for five, four, three, two, last one, hold it there, knees are out, small little pulses, little release, and then squeeze again to lift. 15 seconds here, little down and up for 10, nine, Eight, keep reaching the fingertips high towards the ceiling. Hands are stacked right on top of the shoulders for five. Press through the feet for four. Squeeze the glutes at the top for three. Two, last one, lowering the hips. From here, hands come behind the head. Float both legs into a tabletop. Diamond position, heels stay connected. You're going for your frog. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you peel head and shoulders off mat, find C curve. Inhale as you extend the legs, point the toes to finish the line. Exhale, knees drive apart, heels stay together. Inhale to extend. Exhale to draw it in. Inhale, reach out long. Exhale, knees come back in line over the hips. You've got about 30 more seconds. Squeeze through the inner thighs. You want to find that wrapping sensation. And then knees push apart against the band to come back to center. Going for the frog, keeping the heels connected the whole time. Only 15 seconds left to go. Make sure you don't bring your knees too close into the chest. Tailbone shouldn't be lifting off. Low back lengthen, press into mat. Navel and towards spine for three, two, last one. Drop the head and shoulders, keep the hands where they are. Feet flat to the floor, inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. <sighs> Rolling all the way up to your seated position. Again, keep pressing the band apart. Inhale at the top. Exhale, tilt the pelvis, chin comes in, round, roll down. Again, you're finding the articulation of the spine, one vertebra at a time. Hands are behind your head to stop you from using momentum 
on the roll up, so it makes it a little bit more challenging. Modification, if you're, if you're having trouble coming all the way up, I want you to come up to a challenging position, pause, and then roll back down. Exhale to come up and lift, inhale to lower. Otherwise, if you're fine, you're rolling all the way up, find your seated position at the top. As you come up, think about the abs drawing in, up, tucking underneath the ribs, really finding pelvic floor, deep abdominal strength for five, four, three, two, last one, all the way back down. Bring the soles of the feet together. This time the knees press open a little bit wider. Palms can be on the floor or option dumbbells and hands. Press the feet down, you're going for your butterfly bridging. Lowering halfway down to a hover, squeeze to lift. Again, hip to rib connection. Lengthen through the lower back so you don't feel any pain there. Drive the knees apart so you're using external rotators from the hips. Finding the band just for five, four, three, two, last one. Lower down. Release the dumbbells. Quickly just slide the band off the legs for this next exercise. Soles of the feet come back together, reaching the arms back, biceps next to the ears, inhale to prepare. Exhale, bring the legs into tabletop, head and shoulders lift, arms reach forward. Inhale, return to starting position, tap the dumbbells overhead. Exhale, roll all the way up, butterfly sit-ups. Inhale, prepare, exhale, table. Inhale, get long, exhale to roll up. You're here for a full minute, your modification is to, again, just come up to that challenging position and then return, legs to table. You can keep the lower back lengthening onto the mat the whole time. If you're looking for the extra challenge, you press the feet together as tight as you can, knees stay open wide, and you roll all the way up, long, tall spine at the top, and then tilt the pelvis, curl, and roll down. Halfway done, you have about 30 seconds left to go. Matching movement with breath. Pace is gonna be up to you, so it doesn't have to be super fast. In fact, it's gonna be better if you slow it down and go for controlled movements, precision, alignment, breath. Final 15 seconds here. So you're working parallel and then external rotation. Keeping the external rotation on the roll up is gonna make it more challenging. Modification, you're gonna come parallel, go feet flat, reach the arms overhead, and then you can roll all the way up with the feet flat on the floor, and knees are bent. So if you're having a hard time coming through with the butterfly sit up, that is your option. You have five, four, three, two, last one. Finish at the top, release the dumbbells. Crossing at the ankles, hands go down. Make your way back to all fours, shoulders over wrists, knees underneath the hips. From this position, reach your right leg out to the side in line with the hip. The foot is flat on the floor, knife edge of the foot, pressing in to the floor. Grab your dumbbell, you have one reach, one row. So if you have light dumbbells, that's great. If you got something heavier, go for that. You're looking for shoulder plugged, down back body away from the ear hover, and then row, dumbbell towards the hip. You got about 20 more seconds, keeping the core engaged, staying lifted, and tracking of the arm. When you row, almost like you're drawing a J shape, I want you to pull elbow back, dumbbell comes in towards the hip, and you're engaging the lat. Final 10 seconds here. You're gonna keep the leg out to the side, and rotate into side position in five, four, three, Two, last one, reaching the right arm up towards the ceiling. Send the right toe back, just lift and lower the leg. You're in a side kneeling position, so almost like a modified side plank. The shoulders are stacked, right arm is reaching up with dumbbell. Hip is stacked on top of knee as much as possible. You're only here for 20 seconds. Straight leg lower, straight leg lift. Again, lengthening through the top, the crown of the head, and back through the toes. Think about pushing through the bottom arm for five, four, three, two, last one, up and hold, little pulses at the top. So if you can, the leg is hip height, extending long, spine is like a steel rod, arms are straight and strong for five, four, little pulse, keep it lifted for four, three, two, hold it there, flex the foot, kick forward in line with the hip and then point to brush it, just slightly back behind the body. Kick to pull forward, point, brush back. Flex for one, 
point for one. The upper body will have to move just a slightly, just a little bit to allow the movement of the leg. You can always make this smaller. The bigger you make the leg, the more hinge from the hips there's going to be. But you want to watch that the upper body, right, rib cage is not flaring, moving forward and back. For five, four, three, two, extend the leg back in line with the hip, reach the top arm overhead, inhale, exhale, elbow towards the knee. 20 seconds here. Exhale as you draw elbow towards knee together. Inhale as you get even longer, reaching from hand, fingers to toes. For final five, four, using the side obliques, three, two, last one. Extend the right leg back off to the side, release the dumbbell, square the hips and shoulders. Tucking the left toes, if you can, the right leg stays straight. You sweep up, three-legged dog. Drop the left knee as the right leg sweeps back to the floor. Lift and drop. Push through the palms. You're gonna work shoulder stability here. Lower belly, abdominals switched on. Push through the left leg. Try to drop the heel. Modification, if you're struggling with the mobility, I want you to bend your right knee, bring it into the center line of the body. Extend both times. Bend, extend, bend, take it side. If you're fine, you're sweeping up and sweeping back down. Just for five, four, three, two, last one, up and hold, square the hip, flex the toes down, heel up, little pulses here. Fingertips are spread wide, hands shoulder distance, pushing the floor away. Abs are on tight, letting the heel drop for five, four, three, two, Last one, right foot step outside, right hand, left foot outside, left hand, drop your hips, find your squat, reach the arms forward, push through the floor to stand. Inhale at the top, exhale, lower the hips, hands down. Start by stepping back to your high plank, stepping forward to your squat, drop your hips, stand up, keep the chest tall, then hands down, walk back, walk forward, find squat, option to start, to hop back, Stay light, option to add, upward facing dog, little stretch of the chest, you're in your sprawl, toes are tucked, fine squat. Final 10 seconds here, opening up the chest, keeping the core tight, make sure you're not dumping, arching too much into the lower back. For five, four, three, two, Last one, downward facing dog. Pedal the knees, bend right to left. For five, four, three, two. Last one, drop both knees, come back to all fours. We go other side. Dumbbell comes into left hand. Right knee down, right palm down. Left leg extended off to the side. Foot is flat on floor. One reach, one row. One reach forward. One pull back. Again, right palm, right shin, rooting down. So it's an active pushing down into your mat, keeping the rib cage closed. The abs are on tight. Back is nice and flat, not arching, not rounding. Gazes forward, top of mat, long back of neck. You got five, four, three, two. Last one, extend the left leg back in line, reaching the left arm up towards the ceiling. You have a straight leg lower, straight leg lift. So you're for about 20 seconds. You can always look up at the top arm, making sure that it's not falling back behind you. And then super important here, that your hips are not falling back behind your body. So you don't want the hips falling back, too much of a hinge. If you need more height, take a block or your other dumbbell underneath your right hand so that you can press this right hip forward. Last three, two, last one, up and hold, little pulses at the top. So sometimes having the extra height underneath the bottom arm will help lift your spine, your chest, in one line. So it's gonna be easier access for the hips. For five, four, three, two, flex the foot, take the leg forward point to brush it back. Imagine somebody standing above you, lifting the top arm up. 
So you wanna make sure you're not dropping down into the right shoulder, but actively pushing away, reaching up, reaching back, leg sweeps forward, leg sweeps back. You can keep this small, maybe about the distance of your mat. If you look at the back edge, maybe a little bit bigger for three, for two, Last one, leg comes back in line with the hip, top arm reach overhead, elbow pulls in towards the knee. Keep the knee wide so it's more oblique rather than pulling in towards the front if you can, if it's accessible to you. Being okay with finding where these positions are, where the movements are in your body. It's a little bit different for everybody. The alignment will be there, will come, the strength happens in time. We've got five, four, three, Two, last one, leg goes down, release the dumbbell, square it back off, you'll be facing the front of your mat. Left leg, right toes are tucked, sweep leg up, sweep leg down. So you're using the core to descend slowly for the right knee and the left foot to touch back to your mat. Modification, bend in, kick to extend, bend in, side, Lengthen. So you've got two options. Last five, four, three, two. Last one, finishing your, in your three-legged dog. Left leg is high, heel up, toes down, little pulse. Squaring the hips off. Use the hamstrings and the glutes to lift the leg. So less hip, more muscle. You got five, four, three, Two, last one, look forward, left foot outside, left hand, right foot outside, right hand. Dropping the hips, reach the arms forward, stand all the way up. This time, bring the feet hip width distance. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Hands down, keep the spine long. You bend your knees as much as you need to. Hop back, plank, one push up, hop forward. Feet wide behind the hands, drop the hips, reach up. Option to sweep the arms up overhead, exhale. Plank, push, reverse the swan dive, flat back. No rounding through the spine to come up on this one. I want you to drop your bum and reverse out of it the same way that you came in. 15 seconds, go for more of a tricep push up. Modification, you drop your knees, but rather than going wide with the arms, you're bringing the elbows in tight to the body, back towards the hips. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, downward facing dog. Pedal the knees, bend right to left, hips high. For three, two, last one. Walk the hands back towards the feet. This time bend the knees, head hangs heavy. Round, rolling all the way up. 